numbers adding. Whole numbers adding with single digits. Many people will do these on their fingers. Three fingers and five fingers by their powers combined will give you eight fingers. But let's take a look at this using algebra tiles. If I have three algebra tiles, these are unit algebra tiles, and they have little pluses in them, meaning that they're positive ones, and five algebra tiles by their powers combined, you will have eight algebra tiles. We'll be using algebra tiles more in the future, so I just wanted to introduce them to you here. Whole numbers adding multiple digits. I've written this out left to right and also top to bottom. These are very common English phrases that have to do with math. This is a completely and totally bogus story. But we're going to take these two numbers and we're going to add them together. Give me just a moment. Like magic, we have the problem written here. So we're going to take seven fingers plus one finger. And by their powers combined, we will now have eight fingers. Adding going down, starting from the right, heading towards the left. Five fingers and four fingers by their powers combined will give us nine fingers. Ooh, three fingers and two fingers by their powers combined will give me five fingers. Ta-da! And that is how we are going to add multiple digit numbers going down and then working our way slowly from right to left. Whole numbers adding multiple digits with carrying. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up with numbers that are too big for one single column, and we'll have to carry them over. Give me one moment to put this problem on the board. Ta-da! All right. I don't have seven fingers, and I don't have eight fingers, but if you count them out, you will get 15, that will be a 5, and the 1 for the 15 will carry over into the next column. Then, 1 plus 2 plus 9, or 9 plus 2 plus 1, or 9 plus 1, which is 10, plus 2, all of which will give you the same answer, which is 12. Oh no, again, it is too big for the single column, so the 1 is here. So if you remember, the first column, the answer was 15, here's the 1 and 5. The next column was 12, here's the 1 and 2 for 12. And then we're going to add down this way, and we're going to get 5 plus 4 plus 1. You can add them in whichever order, because addition is a commutative property, meaning that we can change the order on these. So here, that gives me a 10. And I could put the 0 and carry the 1 up here into the non-existent column, but it will just be a 10. 